Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Brittany and on here we talk all things planty and soon enough a little bit of lifestyle. Today I've got a collective haul of more plants for you. So if that sounds like your thing, just keep watching. Alrighty then, so I've done a bit of damage over the last couple of weeks. Um, it's been a rough couple of weeks and I've definitely had some uh, pick me up plant orders. So I thought I would start off with a new nursery to you order. I've already cut into the box. We all remember what happened last time, so we're not going to do that again. Um, but let's just jump into it, shall we? I've got, you know, a collective haul across three different companies, so we're just going to get into it. The first baby that I see on the top here is actually the first big, oh, stuck in a few spots. The first big plant I've ordered from Nursery to You. So this is a 140 centimeter uh, philodendron silver sword. It is incredible. It's so big and a little bit dirty, but you can see it's got a whole bunch of leaves and it's got a new one unfurling on the way there. I'll um, uh, quickly open it up for you. Uh, if I can, I can't even figure out where to open it. There it is. All right. So again, nursery to you, they come sort of, they call it bare rooted. So there's all of the, the root system and there's the plant that is freaking huge. <laughs> that is massive um, and incredible and beautiful and I am absolutely stoked. So that is my big, beautiful silver sword. Um, as you know, or may or may not know, I did haul a silver sword in my previous order. That one is a Christmas present and I just fell in love with it too much that I had to get my own. So that's what that baby is. And on to the next one, which I see is my neon pothos, which again, this is another one I do have a little one of, um, but I'm working on a waterfall, um, sort of plant set up in my bedroom. So I've got a shelf in my bedroom um, that I want to put a whole bunch of uh, plants on. Um, oh, so first, okay, there's a freebie in there. Um, so first up, there's the neon, my God, that's stunning. There's the neon, um, uh, <laughs> There's a neon pothos um, with plenty of roots. All They've all come through the um, thing, so that's fine. Um, but that's what I'm working on there. And there's a little freebies. Uh, I'm, as per usual, I'm not quite sure what they are, but there's one. And there's another fern, the last fern, RIP. We'll see if this one joins. So again, with nursery to you, like I said, they come bare rooted, which is perfectly fine by me. I've always, I'm always drowning in pots. Um, so I've always got stuff to pot them up in and they're great for beginners. And if you're building a bit of a collection and they often bundle, you know, multiple plants into one little wrapping. So this one has two. <gasps> yes, that's perfect. Oh my God, look at the variegation on this Marble Queen. <gasps> So Marble Queen is one of my most favorite plants. And look at that mother leaf. That must have been a heck of a leaf for that to come from. Oh my gosh, there's a new leaf on the way. I'm so excited. So yeah, Marble Queen is pretty much my favorite pothos. Um, I love the variegation. I love the size. I love everything about them. I have a nice, big, beautiful one. And I wanted one for my hanging shelf and I was really hoping to get a nice cream and white one, which I definitely have there some beautiful half moon variegation on both of those, all three of those leaves actually. And there's definitely some really solid variegation in the stem there. So that, oh, that's amazing. That's so exciting. I'm, I'm stoked for that one. I'm absolutely in love with that one. So happy. Um, ooh, oh, that's a lot bigger than I expected. That's actually bigger than my normal micans. So this is the clearance micans. So Nursery to You just recently um, brought out a clearance sort of section for lack of a better word. Um, so basically for five bucks, I got this guy. Um, they said that it's all perfectly fine. It was just sprayed with the wrong pest. Well, that's infuriating. For whatever reason, my video stopped recording at like five minutes in. So that's great. I've done such a good job too. Uh-huh. 
So, <laughs> um, so I think I've, yeah, I've opened up the Micans. Um, the next one that I haven't shown that I opened up was the variegated ivy. So there's a nice bit of variegated ivy. Um, this one, I have been given some variegated ivy to as a cutting before, and I just could not get it to root for the life of me. And I really wanted to get some for my um, mother for Christmas. Sorry, mum, I keep ruining all your presents. It just reminds me of her. So I've got that, that'll stay in my care until then. Um, the next plant for nursery to you is this incredible baby. So that's a Trandon Scantia Dark Desire. In case you can't tell, it's basically just a purple plant. It is phenomenal. My mother-in-law, our stepmom, is gonna try and steal this from me. Um, but it's amazing. It's just, it's, it's, it's everything my goth heart, teenage plant me could desire. It's incredible. Um, I've shown you the babies from there and I think I've shown wall set up. So that was everything from Nursery to You. Again, with Nursery to You, they send you care sheets and some fertilizer for you to pot everything up with, which I think is amazing. I think that's such an above and beyond. Um, I, again, could not be happier with my order from Nursery to You. And especially, um, you know, it's Tuesday today. They shipped it yesterday, so it came from Queensland to Melbourne. Even during lockdown, it didn't get held up or anything when even my Verdant Dwellings um, order did. So could not be uh, any happier with that. The next order is from SJ's Plant Hotel. I order from her, I call her my friendly neighborhood plant dealer. Um, I've ordered from her three or four times and I like to order from her when I want plants that are a little bit more fussy, um, a little bit more tricky because I just know that I'll hands down without a question be getting a, be getting a good plant. Um, so the first one I got from her is this incredible Calathea orbifolia. Um, so this one came to me with absolutely no crisping of the leaves. There is a little bit of crisping there. That's my fault. Um, that's because I'm too lazy to, I use only distilled water, but I do use normal water in my humidifier. So there's going to be some crispiness, but this is just such a beautiful, there's a bit of a glitter to it, but it's just such a decorative fake looking plant. It's incredible. And it's in such good health. I absolutely adore it. Um, the next one you would have seen in my repot with me is my Begonia, Kodo, Begonia Rex Kodobuki. This is hands down my favorite plant at the moment and honestly will be for a while. It is my aesthetic to a T, metallic pink. I think we've all figured out what I like, but it's just incredible. I cannot get over it. It's been really easy so far, knock on wood. Um, it's just beautiful. So I sit that in the humidity up with my Calathea. I've got like a little humidity loving section and it's been happy as Larry so far. One that has been a little bit sadder, but that's, it's a new plant to me. It's a new family to me. And um, it just needs some more sun is this Coleus. It normally is a brighter pink um, and a bit sort of more sprightly, but um, that's okay. We're gonna get her, we've got to move to the sun now. She's absolutely beautiful and I'm sure she'll recover just fine. She's very velvety and tender and absolutely just stunning. So yeah, those are my three from SJ's Plant Hotel. And then last but not least is my order from Verdant Dwellings. So these guys are a small nursery down on Mornington Peninsula. 
and I really like their indoor plant food. It's again a kind of fertilizer. Um, I consider it kind of like a booster, so I just spray it on whatever plants I feel need a bit of extra love that week, just once a week or once a fortnight. Pretty much just go around and spray all my plants. It's got a mix of the nitrogen, phosphorus and potassium, as well as some trace minerals. Um, and the other thing with these guys, like I said, it's a nursery that's made in Melbourne, so I'm really trying to support local and they sell you the first time you buy the bottle with the spray and everything like that and then you get a concentrate. So I've gone through a full bottle and I've bought the concentrate and I've made this from that. So, you know, it's a glass bottle. It's uh, pretty much as zero waste for fertilizing as you can get and it's made local. So what more could you possibly want? Um, you know, verdant dwellings, I cannot, they're in Mornington Peninsula, like I said, I cannot wait till they open back up. I really want to check out their nursery. Um, so from them, I did order two plants, as I said in my little um, video in my spring repot with me um, to replace a spot that was uh, empty of plants. So the first one is this amazing weirdo, the Philodendron Squammy Firm. So if you can't tell, it's got red sort of bristles along the um petiole i think it's called i'm still learning my terminology and then these beautiful weirdly shaped lush tropical looking leaves and this was a plant i honestly really didn't like at first and then all of a sudden a couple of weeks ago something clicked in my brain and i just went i need the weird shaped philodendrons and this is amazing and i love it and it looks so lush it's when it gets nice and big it's just going to give such a good tropical feel to my room. I'm loving it. I'm so excited for it. I'm so excited for all these babies. Ah! <laughs> uh, and then last but not least is um, also from Verdant Dwellings, the Aglionema Wishes. No, that's the other one. The Aglionema Night Sparkle. So that one's got the pink veining down the middle. Um, I'll bring it in nice and close for you. Hopefully it focuses. That is just gorgeous. I'm building up a little bit of a collection of Aglianema. They're just so easy, Chinese evergreen, and they're pretty. What more could you want? Um, so that's pretty much everything. Well, that is everything. I hope you've enjoyed. Um, I do have a question of the day, which is what plant-related accessory are you thinking of adding or have you recently added to your collection? Um, so for me, if you check out my Instagram, uh, which I'll link down below, I did recently pick up the little Ikea soccer glass house um, to keep some of my plants a bit more, hu you know, a bit more humid and safe from my cat who was eating them. She's a nightmare. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so let me know what purchases you've either added or planning on adding that aren't, that are plant related but aren't plants. Uh, otherwise, I hope you have a great day. Please like the video and subscribe. It really helps grow my channel. Thank you to everybody who has subscribed and frankly for all the love that I'm getting on my, um, on my comment section below. So yeah, thank you so much. It's been amazing. I'll see you next week. Bye.